Now, the Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. Sponsored by Ralphie's Food, Sports, Fun. By Marsha's Homemade Buckeyes. From our kitchen to yours since 1984. And by PT Link Physical Therapy. Feel the difference and get relief now. Now, here's Jordan Strack. Welcome into Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. I am Jordan Strack. It is our first basketball show of the season. We're just going to address this right off the top. This show will certainly look different this year. There's no question about that. The orders handed down from the Lucas County Health Department prohibit sports from happening inside school buildings in the county. There are some schools that have decided they will not follow the order and they are finding ways around it. For a full list of who is shutting down and who will continue to play, head over to WTOL.com. As for us, we're going to continue to do this show and we will do so safely. Our crews in the field always wear masks and they will follow all of the proper protocols so that we can continue to bring you the best coverage of local sports in Northwest Ohio. All right, so let's get this show started. We are at Napoleon High School tonight. It is the only NLL game of the evening. Perrysburg in town to take on the Wildcats here inside the Grand Canyon. Jackets, a very young team, but they have got some really nice pieces and they will get off to a quick start tonight on the road. First quarter of this one in transition, Matt Watkins pulls up. He would connect from deep. He had a great night and he was just getting started. Napoleon trying to hang strong on their home floor. Chase Peckinpah, a strong take to the hoop, but Perrysburg is really solid. Here, Mason Schultz, the best hair in Northwest Ohio, drops off to Cannon Klusmeyer. He would lead the way with 19 points in the game. And then watching that Perrysburg offense is just a thing of beauty. Watkins would score it here again. A shot fake and a drive, hits a little floater. Perrysburg gets a road win, 65 to 39. From the beginning of uh, the basketball season, we've told our kids we're just taking it one day at a time. We've, we've tried to focus on the next scrimmage, the next game. Uh, I think we all know the schedule's done in pencil right now. And uh, every time we get to a game night and the game happens, we're, we're happy that we get a chance to compete. It's great, you know, because we knew throughout the year, you know, we, we've been practicing, but, you know, we never knew if we could play. So I'm, we're very humbled to be out here and be able to play every, almost every Friday night. I thought we played really well. Our defense was really on point, and I feel like we're going to keep getting better out the year. I feel like our offense, keep running our offense a little bit more, but throughout the year, I think we're going to be really hard to beat. The Finley Trojans were scheduled to play St. John's, but traveled tonight to Bowling Green to play the Bobcats on short notice. Bobcats trying to attack the rim here. They get the offensive rebound, some quick passing. They find an open Ryan Jackson. He would drop in a corner three. Bobcats had a narrow lead at the half. Finley trying to turn things around. A.J. Adam goes all the way up court, fights for a little contact, gets the transition bucket to go for the Trojans. Fourth quarter now for Finley. They draw one up for Brock McCrancy. He would get a three to go, and Finley gets it done in Bowling Green. They win it 53 to 35. Well, we're just trying to come every day and be ready to play or be ready to practice. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, uh, it's wearing on everybody a little bit, I think, but you just got to hang in there and keep plugging away. We obviously didn't have a great start, kind of as a repeat of our defiance game last Friday, but we picked up the pressure a little bit and our guys played a little more relaxed and uh, made some shots. Fostoria making the trip out to Genoa to play the Comets on their home floor. Early on in this one, Comets looking to get the offense going, find Jacob Emerson. Nothing but net with a catch and shoot three for Genoa. Then Emerson goes to the rim, has it swiped away. Faustoria now moving back the other way quickly. Zach Ward, a contested layup, but that would fall. And then for Genoa, Landon Latart draws in the defense and gets to Jacob Emerson, left wide open for three, and he would drain it once again. Genoa takes care of business at home. They beat Faustoria 49-34. Up next, Ottawa Glendorf boys, they are always tough. Tonight, taking the trip to take on Liberty Center in the first quarter. The Titans working it around here. Colin White giving the paint to Owen Nichols. He would knock down a turnaround jumper for two. Later, Tigers trying to keep it close. Trey Patterson launches a three ball from the wing. It is off the mark, but Evan Conrad gets the board. He would muscle it up and in for two but the Titans would just be too much in this one. It's White again, a great find inside to Will Kaufman. OG wins it 
Next up, Patrick Henry and Ayersville. The Patriots 1-0 early on here in the year, making that trip west to take on the Pilots. Good start for P.H. Draw up a great play off the inbounds. Find Brandon Hall all alone on the block, lays it up and in for the easy bucket. Patriots up early, but Ayersville would take over. On the defensive end, Jacob Trevino steps into a passing lane. He'll take it in for an easy bucket. Pilots looking good. And then right before the end of the quarter, Trevino finds Ike Iden, rises and fires. He rattles in a three from top of the key. Ayersville wins it 46 to 31. Moving on now to the BBC. Lipsick on the road taking on Van Buren. First quarter of this one. Vikings Lorenzo Walther gets the board plus the gets the basket plus a foul. Lipsick up early and then later. Knights with the good defense. Seth Van Horn. The steal, the lay-in for two, but the Vikings would just be too much down the stretch. Trey Schrader in the corner. Buries a three ball. Lipsick wins it 60 to 47. Staying in the BBC, Corey Rawson welcoming in Arlington to, for this one. Second half of this game, Red Devils up and they would add to it. Bryce Gass in the corner, knocks down a three ball. And then later, Gass drives right down the middle, lays it up and in for two. And then Brandon Hall does the same. He is fouled and somehow gets the basket to fall for the and one opportunity. Arlington beats Corey Rawson 57 to 49. All right, time for our first break. When we come back, some college basketball on a Friday night, and it's a big one for the Toledo Rockets. The start of conference play, and Toledo made that short drive up to Ypsilanti. Coverage of that game and more coming up next on Charlie Stodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. 